In this video, I'll teach you all about the task types feature in Microsoft Project. You know, in Microsoft Project, the task types feature is very confusing to new users and sometimes experienced users as well. I mean, what's the difference between fixed units, fixed work, and fixed duration? And while we're at it, why does the software seem to be fighting with me? In this video, I'll teach you all about the task types feature and how it actually works in Microsoft Project. So let's get started. What is the purpose of this task types feature in Microsoft Project? The task types feature allows you to fix or lock one of the three variables in the duration equation. These variables include the units and work values specified for the resource assigned to the task, as well as the duration value for the task itself. When you fix or lock one of these three variables, Microsoft Project will not change that variable. You, on the other hand, can change that variable at any time because, after all, you are the project manager. On a fixed units task, Microsoft Project fixes or locks the unit's value for the resources assigned to the task. Microsoft Project will never change the unit's value after it has been set initially, but you can change the unit's value at any time. On a fixed work task, Microsoft Project fixes or locks the work value for the resources assigned to the task. Microsoft Project will never change the work value after it has been set initially, but you can change the work value at any time. And on a fixed duration task, Microsoft Project fixes or locks the duration of the task. Microsoft Project will never change that duration value after it has been set initially, but you can change the duration value at any time. So by now you're probably wondering when should you use each of these task types? Let me give you some guidance. I recommend that you use the fixed units task type when the resource has limited availability to work in your project such as a resource that's only available to work half-time in your project because they're already committed to work half-time in someone else's project. I recommend that you use the fixed work task type when the amount of work is fixed or locked by some reason, like a contract, for example so that the work cannot exceed some contractual agreed-upon value. And I recommend that you use the fixed duration task type when the duration of the task must be completed in a defined or certain window of time. The nice thing about the task types feature is that you can mix and match task types on a task-by-task -task basis in each of your projects as needed. Here's how task types work in the real world. On a fixed units task, the unit's value is locked. If you change the work, Microsoft Project will recalculate the duration value. Why? Because it's the only number left. On a fixed units task, the unit's value is locked. If you change the duration, Microsoft Project will automatically recalculate the work. Why? Because it's the only number left. On a fixed work task, the work is locked. If you change the units, Microsoft Project will recalculate the duration. Again, why? 
it's the only number left. On a fixed work task, the work is locked. If you change the duration, Microsoft Project will recalculate the unit's value, but it'll store it in a new field called the peak field. I'll show you this in just a moment. On a fixed duration task, the duration is locked. If you change the units, Microsoft Project will recalculate the work. Why? Because it's the only number left. On a fixed duration task, the duration is locked. If you change the work, Microsoft Project will recalculate the units and store it in the peak field. Why? Because it's the only number left. I think you can see that in the first six examples, Microsoft Project's behavior is very consistent and predictable. But what happens if you change the locked number? Here's what happens. On a fixed units task, the units value is locked. But if you change the units value, Microsoft Project will recalculate the duration. Why? This is called a programming bias toward duration. If at all possible, if you change the locked value, Microsoft Project will try to change the duration value. Again, it's a bias toward duration. On a fixed work task, the work is locked. But if you change the work, again, Microsoft Project will recalculate the duration value again because of this bias toward duration. And then the final example, on a fixed duration task, the duration is locked. But if you change the duration, Microsoft Project will recalculate the work. This is the second bias. This is a bias toward work. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how this happens in Microsoft Project. Before I begin my demo, please notice the following about this sample project. First of all, the project includes nine tasks. Three of them are fixed units, three are fixed work, and three are fixed duration. Notice that the duration of each task is 10 days. Notice also that I have a single resource assigned to each task at a unit's value of 50%. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started with the demo. First, I'll go to the task usage view, and then I'll display the split screen view that has the task usage view in the top pane, and the task form view in the bottom pane. Notice that the first task is fixed units. That means the unit's value is locked. If I change the work to 48 hours, Microsoft Project must recalculate the duration because it's the only number left. When I click the OK button, there it is. The new duration is 12 days, recalculated as expected. I'll click the button called Next to go to the next task. Notice the second task is also fixed units. That means the unit's value is locked. If I change the duration to eight days, Microsoft Project must recalculate the work because it's the only number left. When I click the OK button, notice the new work value is 32 hours, recalculated as expected. I'll click the button called Next. Notice on this task, the task type is fixed work. That means the work value is locked. If I change the units to 100%, Microsoft Project must recalculate the duration. Why? It's the only number left. When I click the OK button, sure enough, the duration is recalculated as expected. I'll click the button called Next. On this task, notice once again the task type is Fixed Work. That means the work is locked. If I change the duration to five days, 
Microsoft Project must recalculate the unit's value. Why? Because it's the only number left. Will that really happen, though? When I click the OK button, uh-oh, the unit's value didn't change. What's going on here? Is this a bug? No, it's by design. Let me pull the split bar over to the right so you can actually see what's going on here. Years ago, Microsoft resolved a bug that it had been in Microsoft Project for a number of years. And what they ended up doing is introducing the columns called Assignment Units and Peak to help resolve this bug. But the way the software actually works is when the unit's value should be recalculated, it isn't. This is the assignment unit's value. We can see it's the unit's value here in the task form pane. Instead, Microsoft Project displays the new unit's value in this column called peak. Notice the correct unit's value is displayed in the peak column. Five days duration, 40 hours of work, sure enough, that would require a full-time resource. Do know that even though the unit's value shows as 50% in the task form pane, notice in the time phase grid that the work hours are correctly assigned to Joshua Carroll at eight hours of day. This is indeed full-time work. So, even though it looks like a bug, it's not a bug. All right, let's go to task number five. On this task, please notice the task type is fixed duration. That means the duration is locked. If I change the units value for Tia Adcox to 100%, Microsoft Project must recalculate the work because it's the only number left. When I click the OK button, sure enough, the work is recalculated to 80 hours, as expected. I'll click the button called Next again. On this next task, please notice that the task type is Fixed Duration. That means the duration value is locked. If I change the work for Mickey Cobb to 60 hours, Microsoft Project should recalculate the units, but I think you already know what's going to happen. When I click the OK button, the units value is not changed, but notice the correct units value is now found in the peak field. There it is, 75%. And also notice that Mickey Cobb is assigned correctly to work six hours per day that's what 75% units means. All right, let's scroll down here a little bit more. And I'll click the button called Next. Notice this next task is the task type Fixed Units. That means the units value is locked. But what if I change the units value for Lane Anderson to 100%? Which number will Microsoft Project recalculate? Will it be duration or will it be work? Well, if you watched my PowerPoint presentation before this demo, you know that duration will be recalculated. When I click OK, sure enough, there it is. That's that programming bias toward duration. All right, let's click the button called Next again. On this task, this is a fixed work task type. That means the work value is locked. But what would happen if I change the work value to 32 hours? Which number will Microsoft Project recalculate now? Will it be duration or will it be units? Well, again, that bias toward duration means the duration must be recalculated, and indeed it was. And if I click the Next button one more time, we go to the last task. Notice the task type for this task is Fixed Duration. That means the duration value is locked. But what would happen if I change the duration value to six days? Will Microsoft Project recalculate the units or will it recalculate the work? 
Well, you probably know already there's a bias toward work if the software cannot recalculate duration. So when I click OK, sure enough, the work value is recalculated as expected. And there you have it. That's how the task types feature behaves in the real world. Well, now you know probably more than you ever wanted to know about the task types feature in Microsoft Project. But I do hope this video will help you to determine which task type you want to use in your own projects. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a like and please consider sharing it with your friends and colleagues. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I trust you'll subscribe and click that notification button. If you have questions about task types or anything else in Microsoft Project, please leave your questions in the comments area down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.